for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.isgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answers discussion visit www.getmec.com the next question is number 56 it's related to evoq if the evoq is 360 units the order cost is rupees 5 per order and the carrying cost is 0.2 rupees per unit what is the usage okay so this is a straightforward question applying the evoq formula you can derive the usage value okay so the given data is the evoq is given as 360 and then the order cost you can refer it as c c naught is equal to 5 rupees per unit 5 rupees per order sorry and then the then the carrying cost cc is equal to 0.2 per unit okay so you need to find the usage nothing but q how much is the how much is the actually the not the q that the, that's the demand so as per our formula we have q is nothing but evoq nothing but 2 into d into order cost by carrying cost is the evoq So substituting the above values, we will be getting 360 is equal to square root of T into demand into order cost is 5 and the carrying cost is 0.2. This will come to 50D is equal to 360 square and D equal to 360 square by 50 which comes to 2592 units. So this is given as option B. So 2592 is the usage, this is number of units per that year. So the next question is number 86 and again is based on the statements. Statement 1 is total productive maintenance TPM is productive maintenance involving total participation as a group activity. and Statement 2 is under the ages of TPM, individual operators generally take care of minor maintenance aspects. So this is again related to uh, manufacturing industry where TPM is again a methodology or strategy which is followed to improve the production operations. So the question is like you need to know what total productive maintenance is all about. So but traditionally in a shop floor we will be having operators so this will be operating the machinery okay so each operator will be assigned to one machine so he will be working on that machine over a long time and then there will be maintenance people who will be doing the maintenance or check checking of the machines regularly and there will be some technical people who will be looking at the issues or problems with the machinery or the machines if there are any critical issues that came up uh, during the operations so the these te technical will be people will be assigned that task and operators only will be the operating or producing uh, doing some jobs on the products given okay so each one will be having a specific task to do maintenance people will be doing the regular maintenance whenever it is planned otherwise they won't be doing and then the technical people whenever there is an issue they will be coming so this methodology how TPM is different is so it it acts as a group activity so operators their their duty is not just operating the machine they will be looking at other aspects like if there are any minor issues 
or any small issues maintenance issues we, that should be taken care by the operators so all these all these guys will act as a single team and try to try to improve the process by reducing the number of times the machine breakdown happens by improving the resource efficiency okay by taking care of small small issues on their side so, so operators will be doing some of the maintenance tasks and the maintenance people there won't be any separate maintenance people so they will be also involved in all the operations required and then only some specific task will be handled by very specific technical people so the product, total productive maintenance objective is to to improve uh, to improve the performance of the machines equipment on a daily basis by involving each and every member or of the organization like whether it is technical operator or maintenance people or a technical uh, technical personal okay so this this the statements given is total productive maintenance is pro involving total participation as a group activity that's correct that is statement one and statement two says individual operators generally take care of minor maintenance aspects because they should be they are responsible for their machinery until unless it's a major breakdown they should be taking care of their equipment okay so so that their responsibility go up and they won't be just operating on the machine they will take care of the efficiency of the machine also okay so option both statement and both statements related to tpm are correct so option a is the answer for this question now the next question is 92 of set a so the statements are like this statement one is project management is essentially the process to plan its implementation and to predetermine the period wise need of resources including funds and personnel given the choice of total duration and quality standards and statement two is of the four dimensions not denying that there can be some more of a project scope cost time and quality only any two can be pre-assigned others have to abide by these two prescriptions so this is related to the trade-offs between various dimensions of a project scope cost time and quality this is generally referred as part of the project management as a project management triangle where you can see the three dimensions of time cost and scope determines the quality of the project or the product that we are under uh, consideration so the, based on the time that we gave to a project and the cost to the budget and then the scope of the project so the quality will be determined so each of this each of these parameters affect or depend on each other basically changing the scope will change the cost and changing the cost will affect the quality or and changing the time reducing the time will in increase the cost so these are all interdependent parameters of the project so the, the question is say the statement one is saying the project management is essentially the process to plan its implementation and to predetermine the period wise need of the resources so given the choice of total duration that is the time for the project completion and then the required quality so those are the two targets given so we need to to, to implement that project within the deadline and within for, for that quality so we need to determine what all resources are needed what all funds are needed in each of phase of the project so that is what is part of the project management and that statement is correct coming to statement two of the four dimensions whatever i mentioned only any two can be pre-assigned others have to abide by these two prescriptions so by this statement it is saying that if two are fixed other two are to be abide or constrained by these two only two two dimensions will determine other two dimensions that's what this statement is saying so in general if you if you think clubos if, if you remove the scope out of this we might have uh, heard about say something if you are doing something very fast 
using very cheap quality or cheap or low skill labor or low cost labor so you will be getting a product which is of low quality okay suppose if you are doing uh, good quality work there is but using cheap or low skill labor or resources so it will be time taking okay and then the third case can be so if you are doing something on time some project on time and with a very good quality so you are meeting the deadline and giving the good quality so, uh, product that means it will be costly it won't be cheap okay so so here you can see you will picking any in most of the cases this is what happens if you are giving a product on time and good quality it will be costly and if you are giving if you are doing it very fast but with cheap labor or cheap resources it will be of low quality so every two are determining the third parameter right it's not that one one factor is determining another factor so every time two factors are affecting the third factor and this is all keeping the scope fixed okay so that means scope is all part of this these factors these two are varied here but scope will be constant scope okay so for example if we take construction of a building construction of a building say that is a scope the end goal is to build a uh, one floor building or one one room you can say so if you build it very fast using cheap materials it will have low quality and if it is of good quality but the labor is not skilled very much so it will take its own time and if it is we are building the same building if it is on time and good quality the cost will go up right so each of these are the the multiple factors are determining the fourth dimension right so the second statement says one of the four dimensions of a project only any two can be pre-assigned others have to abide by these two prescriptions but you can see that three also can be fixed to arrive at the four so if you are fixing three of here to arrive at a fourth dimension so not necessarily necessarily this might be true because we are seeing other other possible cases also so we can say statement one is true but statement two is false okay so the option for this correct answer is option c the next question is number 85 it's again based on the statements you need to mention whether it is statement 1 and 2 are true and statement 2 is the correct explanation of statement 1 so statement 1 is like this the concept of just in time is operationalized when the exact number of units required are bought at each successive stage of production at the appropriate time and the statement 2 is just in time concept has been expanded to mean a manufacturing philosophy of eliminating waste okay so the statement says is all about just in time this is again a process methodology that is a strategy that is followed to in manufacturing organization mainly to eliminate waste or reducing the waste in the manufacturing process to avoid unnecessary delays to avoid unnecessarily inventory at uh, production stages so you can see the just in time as as the name says is is a manufacturing philosophy that is aiming at 
eliminating waste so for example if i take some say car manufacturing facility car manufacturing facility say the stage one is having say chassis chassis assembly okay and then this is stage one and then stage two is engine there assemble the engine one okay and stage three let's say this is where they assemble the tires okay so in a typical so after assembly will be having some more things some more stages suppose at this stage what all you need you will be needing a chassis at this stage you will need a engine so chassis is done and then you need to put the engine on in stage 2 and then you need to put the tires in stage 3 so suppose assume that tires are coming from a third party say some supplier so once the uh, once the engine assembling is done the car will be moved to stage 3 where the tires need to be assembled onto the car right so this is done this is will be sent by a supplier so what just in time tries to do here is that these tires won't be available when the car is at stage 2 only when it is coming to stage 3 these tires will be available at, at the appropriate time whenever it is required to assemble for that car based on the model the corresponding tires will get will be supplied by the supplier or by other department to this production stage so thereby what they are doing is they are eliminating the uh, idleness of ties I, ties won't come and sit here before the process needs them that is by eliminating the idleness of the ties so thereby they are eliminating the uh, work in process inventory they are reducing the inventory so this is that is a waste right if the ties are coming and sitting uh, with the engine is at stage one or stage two that is a waste of time right and also it's it it is counted as inventory so what this process does is at that appropriate time the required materials or required resources will be supplied at that production stage that is a just in time thereby improving the process and then whenever someone is bringing these tires they won't come and wait idle so the resource efficiency will go up the process improvement is done and then the whip will be reduced work in process will be reduced so in the statements given just in time is this is an example i am giving but the statement one says the exact number of units required are bought at each successive stage of production because that is a philosophy is a waste eliminating waste so statement one is true and as well as statement two is also true and it explains the statement one because both are related to just in time philosophy okay so option a is the correct answer for question 85 for engineering services general studies video lectures visit www.ilsgeneralstudies.com for mechanical engineering video lectures and question and answer discussion visit www.getnet.com